Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the best, I mean the best, garlic parmesan wings. So here's all of what you will be needing to make some of these garlic parmesan wings. I have about a pound of wings that are already cut, cleaned, and patted dry. I have some basic seasonings here, and that's because I don't want to use too many different types of seasonings to overpower the type of chicken that we are making. It is garlic parmesan. I don't want to season it with too many other types of things. So we can, you know, taste the garlic and parmesan flavor on these wings. And also, I have about a handful of parsley that I am going to chop up. I got four cloves of garlic that I am going to be using in the garlic press, which makes everything easier. And I got one stick of butter, and I'm going to be using unsalted butter because a lot of our salt is going to be coming from, of course, the all-purpose seasoning and, of course, the cheese. And then I have some olive oil that I'm going to be using to put on the chicken wings before I put the seasoning on so that the seasoning can stick to the chicken better. And when I put them in the oven, it'll come out a lot better. And you get a perfect crisp on them as well. So for my seasonings, I have all purpose, like I mentioned earlier. I got some onion powder, some garlic powder, and some paprika, and some black pepper. Now, back here, I have two types of Parmesan cheese. One is the grated one, and the other one is shredded. Now, the shredded one I'm going to be using lastly after I mix the chicken through with the, uh, the garlic butter mix. So... Let's get started. I'm going to be seasoning the chicken wings first before I cut up anything else that's over here because I want to get these into the oven. I'm going to be baking these guys. I'm not going to fry them. If you want to fry them, you can. That is totally fine and up to you. And it's not a bad thing. So I used about maybe a tablespoon. I just want to evenly coat this all the way through and at this point if you are going to be doing these wings baked like I am you want to have your oven preheated to 350 degrees we're only going to be baking these for about an hour and maybe 20 minutes and they are going to be uncovered so that we can get the perfect crisp on them and of course they're not going to dry out because I just coated it in the uh, olive oil so I'm going to hit this with some black pepper maybe about a, a teaspoon Looks like it's a lot, but it's really not. It's just the way that it came out. Got my garlic powder, about a teaspoon of that. Onion powder. Teaspoon of that as well. All purpose seasoning. Gonna keep that light as well. About a teaspoon and a half of that. Now I'm going to make sure I hit it with the paprika, about a teaspoon is this as well, so that it can keep its color when it's baked. Well, not keep its color so it can, you know, develop some good color along with the, uh, the olive oil that I put on here. So that's mixed through. I'm going to be baking these in, the, uh, in a uh, foil pan. Like I said, uncovered on 350 degrees. And here is how they are going to look. Okay. Let me get that pad. And I'm just going to layer these. wings in this pan doesn't really matter how you put them just as long as you put them in make sure you bake them skin side up all right guys so this is going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for about an hour and 15 maybe 20 minutes because it's only because it's going to be uncovered so it's not going to take as long as if you co cover the pan so let's get these wings in the oven Okay, so the wings are in the oven. So let's get started on prepping our garlic and parsley for the sauce. 
And for the grated Parmesan, which is going to be applied to the butter and uh, parsley and garlic mix, you're only going to be using about one fourth of a cup of it because you don't need that much. And then, like I said, towards the end, I'm going to be sprinkling a little bit more onto the wings after they are completed. So for the uh, garlic, I'm going to be using this press and this makes everything so much easier. Let me turn to the side so you can see a whole lot better. So I'm going to give that a squeeze. And there you go. Use the back of my knife and just scrape that off. And there you go. You got minced garlic and a quick fast. And sometimes the only thing about this is that you may have to go in and remove the skin from the garlic. And just add you another one. How easy that is. Guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe, man. Okay, so that's it for the prep of our garlic. like magic baby so I'm gonna set this to the side and that's our garlic now let's get to chopping up this parsley so like I said with the parsley the amount I just grabbed the bunch and cleaned it off so I'm probably gonna be using about hmm, one fourth of a cup of this so you just want to get it and bunch it up as you go I'm gonna run back over this. Sorry for the noise outside, guys. Now, let me just give you guys a quick tip as I'm going along with this. Normally, what you will do well, what they do in a professional world so that your cutting board doesn't move while you're working is that they'll take like a couple of pieces of wet paper towel, you know, squeezed and uh, drained of the water. Or you can use like a damp uh, cloth so that your board doesn't move. But I didn't do that. I want to give this a rough chop so it can be pretty. All right, that looks all right to me. Oh, hold up, I got a couple of big pieces I missed. Okay. So that's it for that. I'm going to be putting that in this bowl. And for this one stick of butter, I'm going to be melting it slightly, not completely. And to also make this, this mix, well, you don't have to do it right away because you don't want your butter just sitting there and having it melt. What you wanna do is do this close to the time that you are going to be taking your wings out, maybe about 15, 20 minutes before. And let me show you guys the uh, Parmesan that I'm going to be using. I already opened it, but this is the grated Parmesan. And the other one is shredded. Open this as well already so I'm gonna be throwing some of that on towards the end after everything is already on so when these wings are done probably got another 40 minutes to go I will be right back so we can get the Parmesan garlic sauce going and I'll see you guys soon 
Okay, so for this garlic parmesan sauce, we're gonna start by slightly melting our butter, but not completely. Just one stick. If you want, you can use the microwave. That's totally fine. But I don't feel like it. <laughs> so I'm gonna let that go for a couple of minutes, and then we will put together the rest of the sauce with the Parmesan cheese, the parsley, and the garlic. All right guys, so we got our butter melted. That's our one stick of butter. I end up letting it melt all the way. Which is totally fine if you do as well. Okay. Now immediately you want to follow behind putting your butter in the bowl with your garlic so that can start to infuse the butter. Just give that a quick mix, loosen that up, see? Now you wanna go with your one fourth cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And if you like, you can use a little more. Remember everything is to your liking. And this mix may become slightly thick, but it will definitely loosen back up once you put the hot chicken in there. Okay, now you see the thickness that I was talking about? But it's going to melt when that uh, hot chicken hit it, like I said. Now we're gonna go in with the Parsley. Guys, remember the exact ingredients will be listed in the description below. So don't you worry. Okay, wow, this smells amazing. Wow. This makes me happy. Okay. And once again, this is the thickness that I was mentioning to you guys about. So let's open this up. Then let's go ahead and get that chicken. Okay guys, so our chicken is done. And it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Okay, I just took it out. Let me just give this a uh, mix one more time before we toss it in this beautiful garlic sauce that we made. All right, now you just wanna toss your hot wings in there because it's party time. These wings smell amazing. All right, and that's that. Now guess what we gonna do? If you're not comfortable with trying to give these a toast, you know, flipping the bowl, then you can just mix them up, but be careful not to break the skin. Cause you don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna get a spoon. I have no shame in my game. All right. See that cheese, guys? Look at that. These look amazing. And the wings are perfectly cooked. Come on, guys. Look at that. Nice, right? Like I said, I'm gonna, I was going to uh, drop a few sprinkles of this shredded Parmesan cheese. Just a little, not much. Okay, give that another mix. All right, guys, let's plate these up. Then we are going to try them, of course. 
let's use this plate. I'm sorry guys, gotta make sure you can see. There we go. Guys, in the comment section, let me know if you are a flats lover or a drumstick lover. I love either piece. No discrimination over here. Okay, guys, and there you have it. Parmesan garlic wings made by yours truly, Mr. NJS. I'm going to hit it with a little bit more of this shredded palm. Tad a bit more parsley, because we can do that on this channel. And there you have it, guys. Your garlic parmesan wings. All right, so let's give these a try. Okay. Okay, guys, so we are going to try one of these wings right now. Uh, I don't even know where to start. Mm, I'll just take a, a leg piece. All right, let me flip the camera around. Okay. All right, guys, so here I go. <laughs> Mm. Perfectly cooked, man. Mm. The flavor is amazing. Wow! So there you have it, guys. Made by yours truly. I'm sorry. <laughs> Garlic Parmesan wings. An easy recipe you can do at home. And also. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.